Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Max, and today I will be going over another fragrance review. Today's fragrance review is about some clones, but they are not your typical clones, they're made of oils. And these oils are highly concentrated, they're not the oils that you will find on your street or your typical mall, these are highly concentrated. Some are very good as far as being close to the fragrance that is cloning. I will give you my opinion on the ones I think are worth it. Stay tuned and at the end of the video I will give you the site that you can pick these fragrances up. So see you soon. Now like I said these fragrances are not your typical mall fragrances are the ones that you see on the street. These are highly concentrated fragrances and they clone some highly expensive fragrances. And the first up we have M7 Oob Absolute. I don't know if you can see the label on this but back when I started collecting fragrances M7 was one of the first fragrances that I ended up collecting. I also had M7 Fresh so I know what it smelled like. I ended up getting rid of those fragrances because I came across Cruel Intentions from By Killian and it gave me that same vibe but I regret doing it but this M7 so I decided I would go on the site and try this fragrance. Now when I first received this fragrance I was like this probably is 70% close. Then I put it in my cabinet and I decided to wear it. When I wore it I was very surprised. When the heat hit it, it made it come alive. And this is about a 90% close clone, very highly concentrated, very nice. You get that oud, you get that cherry coat vibe. Very nice, very close to the fragrance. So I think this was a winner. I like the M7 oud, absolute. Okay, on to the next one. And like I said, I don't th know if you would be able to read the labels because they're very small. Bodicia Victorious Blue Sapphire. Now, to me, this is a miss. This probably smells 50% close to the dry down. If you order this for, for it being a close clone, this is not the one to order. But however, if you like a, a great oud smelling scent with some amber, a little vanillic undertones, a little bit of rose. It's a nice fragrance, but as far as cloning the original, it doesn't come close. Nevertheless, it's a very nice scent, but it's just not close to the original to me. But however, like I said, if you want a nice oud, vanillic, amber scent with a little rose, touch of rose in the background, it's a nice scent to have. Matter of fact, if you want to get into oud fragrances, period, I think this is a nice starter to have. Up next, we have initial side effects. Now, to me, this is probably about. It's probably. I give it probably a 70% closeness. I think the original is more richer, more pronounced, more refined. But, however, it's a nice smelling fragrance, but. I give it about 70% close to the original. It's nice, but if you're buying it for the copy of the original, I would find another clone. But it smells good, but it's just not as close as some clones out there. And that's initial side effect. Now coming up are two Bedicia the Victorious clones. However, I never smelt the original either. But I'll give you my opinion on these two fragrances. I'm going to start with Aurica. Now, like I said, I never smelled the original. But this is a very, very nice scent. The only thing about these fragrances is when you're wearing oils, they tend to be kind of greasy on you. But after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it goes away. That's when it becomes more wearable as far as the appearance. But like I said, Oracle is very nice scent. It's kind of feminine, but I like it. I think it's nice to have. Coming up next is Angelic, and this is this is. I mean, these some of these all smell very high quality. I mean, they are very nice scents, but like I said, the last three that I'm going over, I haven't smelled. 
But angelic, this is very nice, man. This smell like it's woody, kind of spicy, a little aromatic, very nice, very nice scent to have. Angelic. Now coming up next is Opus Seven. Now I never smelt the original, but I do own Opus Six, and I can tell you that both of these are resinous. You get some rose, maybe some vanilla, very spicy. You might get some oud. Man, this is nice. This is probably one of my favorite that I received. But however, like I said, I never smelled the original, but this is very resinous with some oud, maybe some vanilla, got some rose. Now, one advice I would give to you is that if you're gonna order these, I wouldn't order these little samples because it's kind of messy got a little dipstick then you pop open the top it come in a little plastic but to me that's kind of kind of messy but I mean it smells nice it's very woody with that rose maybe some oud and it's very resinous but it's very nice probably one of my favorites that I received if I were you I wouldn't get in samples, I would just go with the roll on. The roll on is probably seven, eight, nine dollars more. But to me, the bottle that it comes in with the roll on is better than this, which is to me is kind of messy as far as dipping it in, putting it on your skin. But however, lovely scent. The next one is from the house of Nasamato, and that's Veranda. This is another very nice. Highly concentrated, nice scent that smells elegant, it smells resinous. I don't know what they mix in these with, but they smell good. Coming up next is a copy of Armani Prive Jahara Oriental. This is another nice scent. Don't know how close it is to the original. It's another high quality, good smelling fragrance. I mean, I think it's well worth to add to your collection. I wouldn't hesitate. Another very nice scent. Coming up next is a clone of Armande Jane Intensivo. Another high quality oil that smells very good. Don't know how it compared to the original, but a very nice scent to add to your collection. All right, guys, if you stuck around this long, the site is Frag Bar. It's up in Canada. I will leave a link in the description if you want to know anything about it. Six milliliters, I think what it is, come in this like pouch. I got one that smells almost identical to the original. I have one that wasn't a clone at all, however, it was a nice scent. And I had one that was probably 70%, 80% close. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay safe. Come back and see me, and I'll see you soon. Peace.